Hey everyone, this is my first horoscope video. But today, I actually want to talk about the full moon lunar eclipse. The full moon lunar eclipse that comes on December 10th will fall in the sign of Gemini. The sign of Gemini rules communication, transportation, siblings, neighbors, anything in relation to communication, including the internet, cell phones, telephones, text messages, emails, or even transportation like vehicles. So that's why whenever we have a Mercury retrograde, we always put it out there. You know, be careful because you may have problems with any of these situations. But Gemini also has a negative side. If you are a Gemini, you know this very well. You can be contradicting, you can have double meanings, double messages, you can be moody, but also very talkative and gossipy, which isn't so bad, but can get annoying for some people. So there's pros and cons. Now for the sign of Gemini, obviously we will see an increase of communication and even an increase of short trips, maybe to visit family to visit neighbors and relatives, aunts and uncles. But you may also find yourself communicating more through emails, text messages, phone calls. One of the things that I like about this eclipse is that Saturn supports the lunar eclipse. That's great news because Saturn likes to stabilize anything and you want it to be positive. So when Saturn supports a lunar eclipse, wherever Saturn falls will help to secure that. So for instance, if you have Saturn in one of your financial houses or career houses, that's great news because it can bring long-term security and stability, whether it's work, more money, more security, more stability, that's great. But it can also help in regards to building long-term relationships and networking and connections. To wherever it falls, that's great. This is what you want from Saturn. And especially with the lunar eclipse, which lunar eclipses can actually work against you if it does not support itself in its own way. Neptune also supports the lunar eclipse. Depending on where it falls in your own birth chart or in your sun sign, it has a very fantasy, dreamy kind of energy. Very creative. So if you are in the arts with music, dancing, singing, painting, drawing, it's very, very good. And then with Gemini, I mean, that's just going to heighten all this great energy and creativity, so that's kind of what you want. The only problem with this eclipse is that Mars squares the eclipse. Mars is in Virgo right now, so Virgo and Gemini aren't really going to get along here. Um, whenever I see a square like this, I always keep thinking of the angry woman. You know, the if you aren't careful, you know, she's going to bite your head off doesn't necessarily mean that's going to happen. There can be tension from females because the lunar eclipse is ruled by feminine energy. Um, and in the course Mars and Virgo, Virgo is the sign of the Virgin, which is a feminine sign. So we've got a lot of this feminine kind of energy. It could be a woman, it could be your mother, it could be female clients, customers. I mean, it's, it's feminine. Um, at the same time, depending if you are a female, this can easily work a little bit against you. You can just be a little bit more moody, you could be more argumentative. Um, if you are a male, this can kind of maybe work a little bit against you. If you are dealing with a wife, girlfriend, sibling. Um, but on a positive, I do like the fact that it has a lot of active energy. So you'll be more vocal and you'll be more active and you may be more blunt and direct, which is 
what a Gemini is. I have Mars in Gemini, so I know it very well. I tell it like it is, and I don't care if it hurts somebody's feelings. But I do care that I am blunt and direct and not, you know, taking a lie out there and then regretting it later on. I'd rather just put it out there, and if it's hurtful, it's hurtful. But at least I walked around and said, I told the truth. And I didn't lead you on. The thing is that sometimes it can come out hurtful. And then that's where you try to find the balance of how can I put something out there without hurting somebody's feelings. Then when you do hurt their feelings, then it becomes like, well, you know, I had to put it out there. So now, now that I put that out there, the big news with this eclipse is how do I use it to my benefit? What you want to do is you want to take advantage of the energy that is there for you. What I would suggest is, of course, read your horoscope, see where it falls. Then try to take advantage of how it's going to benefit you. This can really help you in being able to succeed in putting yourself out there, working hard for the money, taking advantage of opportunities that are there just by being vocal and taking charge. Gemini also rules contracts and negotiations. So if you are in the process of negotiating finances or contracts, or this is going to be an opportunity to take advantage of it. Do it. If you don't, what then? So, as I see it, the lunar eclipse will affect everyone, period. But it will especially affect those that were born between like from the 6th of the month to about the 12th of the month. Doesn't matter what month it is or what sun sign you are. Because of the degrees that it falls in will affect those people between the 6th and the 12th of any month. At the same time, if you are a um, Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aquarius, you'll definitely feel this a lot more on a personal level because it falls on personal signs. So whether it's your love life, whether it's your social life, whether it's your marriage, you'll definitely feel this a lot stronger if you're one of those signs. The way that I would put it out there, I say just you know, take the energy of what Gemini is bringing. It's a lunar eclipse, so it can easily make you highly sensitive and emotional. And then just Take charge and see where it takes you. And then go from there. Well, until next time, and I will start to work on these weekly horoscopes, the monthly horoscopes, and then now with the yearly horoscopes. So there's a lot that I gotta put together. One at a time. Even though the Gemini in me says do it all at once, but one at a time. Till then, talk to you then.